just kind of slides in them. You ain't need no hands, which is nice. But you know, it could be convenient to some people. You might not like it, but they are comfortable. If it's all right, oh, yeah. I wanna kick it with you all night. All okay, so you're looking to get your first pair of Yeezy foam runners. I have two pairs and I pretty much wanted to tell you guys what, what you need to know before you end up picking a pair up. So this is the Yeezy Foam Runner in the carbon colorway. This is set to release the 7th of August, I believe. Retail is gonna be right around that $90 price point. It seems like a lot of foam runners have fluctuated from $80 to $90 and they can shoot all the way up to $300. But as of late, the way the sneaker market is going, realistically, you might be able to get them pretty close to retail especially if you're looking for this color specifically. When you go back to the older colorways, that's when it gets a little more pricey. I was recently at the mall and I saw this sand colorway that I had picked up, I wanna say like a year or two ago, and I ended up paying $300 for these and now they're sitting around 350 to 400. But like I said, you can find deals in this market. So that's just something to think about. I know you guys see the shorts. I wanna let you know today's video is sponsored by Kinetic Kings. Right here, we got their fundamental Paisley shorts. I'm loving these. I ended up getting them in green, blue, black and also got this tan colorway you guys can go check them out get that little 90s nostalgic vibe they're a little shorter than usual so make sure you go true to size it's going to come with this plain jane box as usual it's actually inside out which i'll show you guys when we crack it open on the inside you'll see foam and underneath the shoes you see the actual label of the shoe you guys can see right here easy foam runner carbon 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 size 12 made by Adidas. And here they are. These are made from Eva foam, also algae foam. This is like a super popular type of foam that they use for shoes. These are made in China. Honestly, I thought all Yeezys, well not all, but all the foam runners were made in the US, which I think they were once upon a time. You will see on the inside of the shoe, it will stay, it'll actually tell you where it's made as usual, but it's kind of embossed in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. In terms of picking these up, I do think they are worth the $80 to $90 price range. Like I said, I did pay $300 for a pair and that was specifically just for a review because at the time it was such a hot shoe. But honestly, I, I would really take my chances at just hitting at retail and leaving it at that, especially with the potential like rekindle of the relationship between Adidas and Kanye. I really think patience probably saves pockets on these, especially with, like I said, the way the market is going. Now, if you're gonna pick a pair up, definitely go true to size. And the pros and cons of these is what I'll tell you. Really the only con that I've found is just putting them on. These are glorified Crocs. I think we can be realistic about that. But the way you gotta slip your foot in there, low key is kind of annoying opposed to like a Croc, you just put it on or you put that hole in sport mode, you know what I mean? But the benefit to the weird way you gotta put your foot in there is that they're on. They're not coming off by any means. Now pros, I call these the networking shoes, man, because when anyone sees you wearing these that is not a sneakerhead, knows nothing about shoes, it is a conversation piece. The amount of people I have had ask me, wow, what do you have on your feet? They're either laughing at you or they're genuinely curious about what the hell these things are. Because let's be real, they are unique. They are weird. They are fun. I think that's what's cool about sneakers in general. Like if you know, you know type. Now this carbon obviously differs from the Onyx pair because it's not as black. It's more of like a charcoal gray, I wanna say in person. And there's obviously been different versions of them Realistically, I don't think I will pick up any other colors. I really would have liked the Onyx, but honestly, I like this charcoal. I like the shade of it, and then going with the sand colorway, I just don't think I need any more. You guys can see I've worn these a lot. Definitely go true to size on them from what I've noticed, and you should be solid. I'm gonna throw them on feet, and you know, we'll talk about the comfort level. So like I was saying, man, the way you put them on, foot just kinda slides in them. You ain't need no hands, which is nice, but you know, it could be convenient to some people. You might not like it. But they are comfortable, I will say that. The Eva foam is honestly very elite. And like I said, go true to size. They fit great. I've worn these for hours, haven't had any issues. Like I said, similar to glorified Crocs. If you've worn a pair of Crocs before, all day long, you know the comfort. That's all these are. This is honestly a hype beast Croc, a Kanye West fan Croc. Wanna be different Croc. Plain and simple. I would say I really like the sand colorway more than anything. The Onyx pair is fly too, you know? It looks good. Just depends on the fit you're trying to pull off. Like you can really get some crazy fits off with these. Just the aesthetic of the shoe is, it's cool, man. It really is. Don't play when they want to 
don't skip no days either. Meet her, greet her, treat her like a queen, then I give her that Peter. Jack, that's how we procreate.